So yeah, what we were saying is we need the bid. We we need the CV. We need to prepare the CV for the contractors in order to, for the contractors to know the qualification of the team members that is working with us. Yeah. So yes, she maybe some questions have for you. Do you need? Uh, do you think that it is required? You need some information in order to prepare the CV. You need some information about the people. Like, do you think you need that type of information? If not, you can just use different types of templates for the CV, and input information okay. that you feel like will fit that position that you're applying for. We can do that. But do you think mm -hmm. some information for the CV? Maybe uh, how many page for one CV? And also maybe there are three, I think four or three qualification. So for all of, if I need, for example, if I prepare five CV for five, uh, five of them, maybe is it three page, one page or two page? Is any limit when while I prepare the CV? Yeah. Okay, so if it is not mentioned on the uh, document, then it's there is no limit for the CV number. But we recommend in order, since you're applying for the peop for people who want, uh, who is going to review your CV seriously, so you need to take care of uh, the page content and the number of pages of the CV seriously. So mostly we use one page CV if it is possible. So it's recommended if you can use one or two page or number of CV just as you as a recommendation but you can you know you can decide what number you can what number you can use but try to make the cv as attractive as you can okay thank you a lot okay. um, and also i have some confusion on uh, how to prepare budgeting on task three uh, on the document you are provided to us there is a pricing schedule i think there is a total of 52,000 something like that number, a number of figure. So we use that breakdown to prepare financial uh, proposal or we need any additional, additional financial document to prepare for tax three. Okay, let me read once. Uh, I think I can answer that. Uh, to prepare the uh, project budget, uh, I think yesterday we have discussed um, around eight steps that you should take, uh, starting from the objective, setting the scope, and later uh, listing all the I'm tasks. I'm looking for the... Hmm? Yes, she? Uh, am I audible? Yeah, yeah, continue. I think she's with the uh, customer. Uh, yeah, so once you jot down the tasks and subtasks uh, and resources maybe, yeah yeah i'm yeah. sorry like, we can maybe wait for her for two minutes or something oh sure as yeah. she asked the question yeah okay until then maybe Rufail, if you have any question thank you uh, on my side, uh, everything is going away. And, uh, it's, uh, it's my entire report yesterday. And, uh, most, uh, yes, sometimes your sound is drinking. Uh, yeah, there is a noisy sound. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I think Yeshi's network is lagging. So, Yeshi, can you hear us now? Sorry, Rufai. <laughs> Yes, are we audible? Can you hear us? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, maybe you can continue. Yes, she? Uh, 
it says uh, budget breakdown so uh, it says budget breakdown so uh, on the video document says it's Yes, if, if we are able to you, um, I can explain. Um, let's uh, continue. Okay. A network problem. Yeah, with Yeshi. Yeah, I think so. so. So maybe should we wait until she is she get back, or should we just mention the answer? What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Um, I I think they they also asked it on stand up, and. Uh, I told them we will discuss it in the session, so we did discuss uh, the, the steps for um, the budget breakdown or the project budget. Um, it's not just a financial breakdown. Uh, instead, uh, you, you start from, uh, there are different approaches, uh, the top down, uh, uh, bottom top, uh, analogous uh, parameter estimation, uh, etc. I think there are four. Uh, using those approaches, uh, they they can allocate uh, budget for each task and resources. That that's just one part of the project plan. Uh, I mean the, the the project budget, but they also need to. Um, include the, the the backup money uh, and they also need to mention the uh, approval from the, the the stakeholders and also need to set monitoring so in the in the challenge document the budget breakdown is part of the project budget uh, so they, they 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 have to list the tasks needed for that project and the resources and as, allocate cash for each task that that's what they need to do yeah so yeah yes you might hear the video okay maybe yeah okay so rufail uh, you were talking and we stopped you you can continue Okay, thank you. On my side, uh, everything's going great. And then I already almost 95% of my final submission is done. And additionally, I have prepared my career challenge. But I need to know how to submit the, um, my, my uh, there are four CV prepared series and how to prepare or how to match them on to, to, to submit is my question clear yes i think it is uh, since we're going to prepare for full full files are we going to make yeah. them on different file so that in what form are we going to submit so yeah, it might be useful for everyone we will try we will actually uh i will get back to you with the full inform sure information but probably you're going to submit a folder link as the previous one so that since it's a cv file uh you're going to use maybe different templates and things like that so you cannot include them in a single file all the cvs right so you you can do four different cvs and you will include them under the folders we're going to edit the document the submission part and uh, the CV part, okay? Is that clear? Okay. Yeah, how about the other side? I think if we submit the folder files, task three is different from the CV part. 
or can we also add the breakdown of widgets to the folder? So this means that still there's going to be a report, right, on the other parts without the CV. So we still need to see the report, which means probably you're going to submit. It's it's going to be so submission portals. It's going to be one for the for the CV links and one for the other. Probably it's going to be that, but I will get back to you if there is any change of idea. But you can take this for now. Okay, thank you for the budget allocated part. Can we prepare the Google Sheet for the allocated process or budget? Yes. Yeah, you I can think. use Google Sheet. Okay. Thank or Trello. Okay. Okay. Any any financial software you can use, but mainly it's gonna be um, uh, an Excel sheet. But even you can do it on Word, Microsoft Word. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah. Yeah, before that, I have a question for Rafael. So I think he, you understand the CV preparation task, and I'm seeing that. So yeah, in in the Q in the session, I'm going to ask you a question which is weird, but yeah, uh, I'm seeing that there's gathered update CVs from all team members. And as we said before, logically, it's going to be the team members of the company rather than the team members of U2J, okay? So what do you think, or which team member are you considering to take information for the CV, or whose CV are, have, are you trying to prepare? Profile. Do you give my question? Uh, Rafael, you're muted. Thank okay. uh, you. I get the files, uh, TV files from the given documents. There are uh, data folders given for the task one. There are so many candidates for uh, on uh, on the given documents. So I I use the candidates from that folder. Confused the UTG members. Yes. Okay. So this is thank you, Rufai. This is I think I heard mentioning to use the UTG member CV while starting this session. So yeah, you're going to prepare the CV for people for the team member of your company, not for UTG. Okay. Thank you, Rufai. Gitar, have you raised your hand? Okay. Hi. Uh... I hope you're all doing well. And I'm sorry if I ask a question that had already been asked. Uh, please bear with me. And I'm sorry for uh, getting here late. So my my first question uh, is, um, can I, I kind of need some more clarity on generating the budgets for the project. I need some more insights. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck there. Yeah, so I need I kinda need some some advice. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. It's okay. If it, it is not a question that is asked, I think it's okay to repeat. Oh, it is already asked, but it's okay to repeat it. I think yeah, yeah, you can answer this. Um yeah, Githiri. Uh, so yesterday we discussed it in the uh, during the tutorial session. Uh to develop the financial breakdown, uh, you need to list the tasks needed for the, the project, right? And then you will assign um, an estimate uh, for each task. And that will give you the, the total amount, right? If you have different tasks and subtasks, um, you will have... Uh, I think there is there is also a template there. Uh, for example, um, fees and other costs related to contract, uh, travel expense. When we say travel expense, it might have some tasks, right? Or some uh, sub resources. So you, you need to follow that and use the template or you can uh, create your own uh, to to get the uh, financial breakdown. 
I hope that's clear. Another question, uh, because I can see the, the, the financial breakdown is needed in task three, right? Yeah. And uh, what about task one? Task one is also asking for the same financial breakdown. So do we do the, the same thing that is there on task one, in task three, or what do we, how do you go about that? Uh, I, I believe task one is developing bid document, right? Yeah. So maybe so, uh, uh, in task one, I think on, uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, for uh, stopping you, but yeah, in task one, in preparing the bid documents, there is a part that is called going to the, to doing the financial uh, classification and things like that. Yeah. So in that part, we need to make, we needed to make sure that you've gone through all the documents as we mentioned earlier. You're go, you've gone to through all the documents that is given. I mean, the rather than the TOR document, uh, other documents of G, doki so that you can have general understanding of the the way or the, the their idea of or their financial proposal. Okay, so that you're ready to. So my point is, in while proposing some types of financial, I'm not sure about the detail parts in CIA. Yeah, you know better about this part but you might prepare uh, a detailed uh, financial proposals and detailed breakdown based on your perspective right so what we needed to include to be included in task one was uh, what is the view the overall, the, the overall view of the financial uh, proposal uh, from the giz perspective and also yeah after taking their perspective then you're going to decide or you're going to do the breakdown depending on that so uh, on task one, you might not need to de to include every details, but depending on the eligibility that the G the company wants, you need to me you were supposed to mention the general uh, overview of the financial breakdown. Peter, did I answer you your question? Uh, oh, okay, okay. I'm not sure if that is clear because uh, so how do I? Mm. So, like, there is that company. When the company proposes an idea of pro proposal, there is this idea. This needs to be this needs to be the structure of the financial proposal, depending on the company overview. Okay. So, if there is anything mentioned about the financial eligibility or the financial proposal, they recommend from their side, from the company side, while preparing the bid document. What What is the idea of preparing bid document? It's uh, making yourself to be viewed and making yourself to be accepted right so you need to mention some parts of your financial breakdown or that you understand their idea in order to be accepted so it's not the detailed it's not every steps and things like that it is just the overview of your financial proposal and just proving them that uh, you are the you can align with their plan okay okay uh what if i decide to maybe come up with a uh just one price and say the whole project will cost me like, let's say two million and that's it. Uh, would I be wrong in doing that for task one actually, task one only, not task three? Yeah, task one, maybe like just one line of mentioning the financial part maybe is going to be, I think, too small, but you can just say that it's going to cost me two million and uh, yeah, the main parts are like, the main costing things are this, this, this and not the detail breakdown, okay? Okay. But yeah, it is kind of just mentioning the overall uh, cost and things like that. You're right. Yeah, I think I kind of get you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Firmosa, you can you can ask your question. Okay. Uh... My first question is that yesterday also I have asked this one, especially collecting the CV. <clears throat> and again, uh, when uh, we are uh, looking at the financial uh, proposal, in a uh, first task also is saying the to present the detailed cost breakdown also. I think uh, first task is also asking to just break down the costs and again pricing structure. Uh, and again, the third, uh, the third task is also asking the same thing. Any clarification? Um, uh, regarding the CV, uh, I think yeah. Yesterday, 
uh, discussion during the stand-up uh, is not correct, I believe. It's not the, uh, the trainee CV, rather it's the a CV of the team in the organization. So you have to prepare uh, CVs for each uh, department. Um, uh, regarding to the, the financial breakdown, uh, I believe the first one is related to the uh, developing the bid and um, the, the task three is uh, the project budget as a whole. Right, they, they, they might be, they might not be the same. Uh, I don't know uh, the, 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 the first part, I mean, developing the bid documents, uh, maybe when you develop uh, the, the bid document, uh, you might need uh, to spend some cost, right? So that might be the, the financial, financial proposal for the, uh, for developing the bid document, if I'm not mistaken. But the, the, the task three is for a general uh, project budget. Uh, it, uh, Reddit, are there any costs that need to be spent during a uh, bid document preparation? Uh, that, that no, actually. Me? Yeah, yeah, but uh, like imagine if if there if even there is some cost that we're going to put or for the bid document preparation, it's not concerning for the companies that we're applying for or that we're yeah, giving the bid document for. So uh, we're not supposed to include that. I think the the confusion is starting from the way it is written. I guess present a detailed cost breakdown. Maybe we were not supposed to say like a detailed cost breakdown and things like that. But Firomsa, as I mentioned earlier yeah okay yeah let me just say and as i mentioned er earlier we need to see while preparing a bid document one of the advantages in order to impress the contractor right so the way you're going to prepare the financial proposal in the financial breakdown and the way you've understood the uh, their mechanism of uh, their, fin their, their financial proposal mechanism their finance mechanism as a whole is important for them to accept your um uh, you know your application or not so you need even if you're not going to mention every details and every breakdown as you're going to mention on the task that you're supposed to pro prepare the financial proposal you need to go through the you need to go slightly through the document through the financial proposal so as we were discussing discussing with git here we've just mentioned that this amount of cost i need this amount of cost maybe two million uh, something to prepare to do the overall projects and those are the main things that i or i like i expect you to pay this payment with this interval so the general terms but what it, you need to know is you need to understand if there is any constrictions or rules for the company to make this type of financial proposal so if your if your bid document or if your financial proposal is somehow aligning with their plan you're going to get it's more likely you're going to get the pro the project for yourself so it is just you have you understand their term of financial proposal and are you trying to apply that uh, are you trying to include their plan in your plan in your financial proposal plan is that clear from so yeah continue okay okay uh, you know that in any kind of proposal, uh, we have to have a kind of breakdown for the cost, especially yes. because they are going to target on the cost. If it is going to be completely compatible with their budget, something like. So I think it's needed also to do the breakdown during the proposal also to make to make it clear. So we have to just break down the available cost. Uh, what what type of books or what type of activity we are going to have? Uh, in, uh, in addition to that, what 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 uh, amount of uh, budget is going to be allocated for for activities that we are going to do? So, in any kinds of proposal, I think that there must be a cost breakdown first. So here also we are doing the bid proposals, especially during the first task. 
So I don't, I don't, again, uh, still I'm confused with that, but let me just. Uh, uh, okay, let me ask you something again. Have you tried to go through the documents, or the documents that is found in there behind the TOR, as, as mentioned earlier? Have you tried to go through those documents? Which one? There are other documents of which are uh, directly downloaded from the company, from GIEs. Right, different documents. There are different documents behind that you are. You, we have shared you two folders. So one folder contains different documents or information about the company. Yeah, the documents are there also. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> they are uh, assessing the uh, the one who is going to, going to compete. Uh, there are some rules which have been given, especially related with the budget, something like. Mm. Okay, so what I needed to ask is, um, so in that information, we've just mentioned that you you don't, you need to go through those documents in order to know if there is some rules or some uh, criteria that the company is going to raise about the work, about that specific project. So that's why preparing your bid document, you're not going to be out of that rules or out of that uh, culture of the company. So what i'm trying to re uh, relate this information is if there is have you find anything related with the financial way of system or financial payment system of the company in those documents haven't you find those ty types of information from the document which means related with financial yes yes i'm not uh, okay there is a, a kind of table which are given in order to just evaluate the leaders, which is having a kind of weight, point, assessment, something like in the form of table that have been given. That one is just to evaluate if the financial breakdown of the bidders are going to fit with uh, their uh, plan, something like, I think so. So, yeah. The point is, while preparing the, those informations related with the financial, like that you find uh, that you are find trying to search with those documents, is while trying to prepare your document, what we needed from the first task. Okay, you might be, as you've said, if you feel like you need to include every details or every breakdown of the financial details of the proposal, then yeah, you can. You can. But what we're expecting is, have you kept that law, or are you considering while preparing your detailed financial proposal are you considering to use or to follow those rules have you used so that rules that is what we have we are trying to evaluate from the first uh, financial breakdown that is included in the bid document okay okay thank you okay. yeah. so other questions Uh, do we have other questions or so Tahir? Maybe uh, uh, as we've as we're going to read the comment, maybe Yashi, you've asked the something about the the budget breakdown too. Yeah, yeah, was answering so. Have you get your answer, Yashi? Okay. As I think the Firomsa question is to identify the cost in included, I think it is, I believe it is included, to do the project or the cost was spent during the process. During the process of what? I don't think that is the question of Firomsa, but yeah. Uh, it's not the if you by the process if you mean like the cost that we're going to put for the yeah what do you mean by the process Tahir? And I think yeah yeah you can answer this whether on the financial breakdown part what part have you yeah included? Um, yeah it's. Uh, uh, he's correct. Um, uh, he wants to say after the project uh, is started, right? 
so you you plan the project and you list the uh, the, the tasks it, I'm, I'm repeating it <laughs> many times the the cost breakdown is just a money that you're going to spend for the completion of that project right so you you can't just say uh, 2 million uh, for this project you need to um, break break it down to smaller pieces and convince the stakeholders that this is um, a logical uh, financial breakdown right so for that uh, you you need to uh, plan for each task and even some subtasks and then you will allocate or estimated amount for each task that's how we uh, get the the total amount of the, the project in addition to in addition to that we also need um what you call it a backup right so th those th those are the the, the budget cost or financial cost yeah So I think, yeah, Tahir just said to do the project or the cost to spend during that process. So I was asking what the, do he mean by the process? But it's the first one, which is right, right? The cost that is uh, incurred to do the project. It is for the project. project. If I get it. Okay. I think it's a yes, yeah, yeah. So if there is a... Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> okay. Other uh, question? Did I see something? Okay, then. If there is something, if there is no question, I hope you're going to accomplish your task by time. If there is something, yeah, yeah, you want to say? Um, not in my side, just watch the, the the youtube video and if you have a specific question you can reach out to us on slack yeah thank you everyone thank you for being here bye